Welcome to this RapidMiner introduction video. In this video, we will show you the RapidMiner concept for nested subprocesses, like those, for example, needed for cross validation schemes. In order to estimate the prediction accuracy of data mining models for new and unseen data, several performance estimation schemes are widely known. Among those, a cross validation is particularly interesting since it consists of two different subprocesses and performs those within a loop. We again start with accessing a labeled dataset from our repository. As you can see from its metadata, the dataset has a label attribute. That means a target attribute we want to predict for unseen data. We have seen before that we can train a model like Knife Base for a data type like this by simply adding the modeling operator after loading the data. But now, we not only want to train the model, but also to estimate how well this model performs on unseen data. For this task, we add the operator for performing a cross-validation. Please note the small icon in the lower right part of this operator. It means that this operator is the root of a nested subprocess, which can be accessed by simply double-clicking the operator. We now see the two subprocesses of a cross-validation. The training phase performed on one part of the data on the left and the testing phase performed on the rest of the data. This training and testing is repeated for different parts of the data and the result is the average performance of all different performance estimates. The input on the left side is painted blue, which means that the input port of the cross-validation was already connected with the dataset. We now add the modeling operator in the left subprocess and the operator apply model together with an operator for calculating the prediction accuracy into the right subprocess. The performance estimate is delivered as a result for the testing phase. You can navigate into subprocesses and back to the parent process with the breadcrumb bar in the top part of the process view. You can also use the errors on the left. Now we will execute the process and the result will be the performance estimation of this data mining method for this type of data. It turns out to work quite well. We change back to the design perspective for a last time. Did you notice that almost all connections were automatically added by RapidMiner? This is a nice feature made possible by RapidMiner's unique metadata transformation and save a lot of time during process design. More information on www.rapideye.com